What's up guys? Welcome to my channel. This is Maximize. Welcome. So today guys, I wanted to go over best plants for your office space or maybe for your low light setting. I know everyone, not everyone is back in the office. So including myself, I'm still at home working from here. But for those of you that are working in an office currently and still have to go in, I think adding some greenery to your space always helps your mental um, health. I'm going to be recommending my favorite plants um, for that situation and just going over a couple other weird random things, you know, that's how we roll here. So I hope you guys enjoy. Really random quickly, guys, I got these new shoes from Vans and I'm kind of loving them. They do have like third grader vibes to them. I'm pretty sure I had like a pair of light up shoes that looked exactly like this when I was you know, six. They are legit so comfortable. I'm like, I was nervous getting white shoes, but I'm digging it, guys. I don't know. Let me know what you think. If they're like hideous, but I love them. Okay, guys. So I'm going to be going over all the plants that I recommend for your office space or maybe like a lower light, you know, section of your house that you're working from. So I'm going to go over plants that I recommend, plants I don't recommend, and things you can do to provide the best possible care for these little babies, okay? The plants that I do recommend are things like the ZZ plant right here that I literally just got yesterday. My mom surprised it for me, or surprised me with it? Surprised it for me? Surprised me with it. So I got this plant and I honestly, I've only had it for a day. So I'm not an expert by any means, but I know so much about this plant. I've been wanting one for a super long time, so I know what it likes, what it doesn't like. And these plants do so well in office situations. They're so bulletproof, it's kind of ridiculous. When I was in the office, we had this one ZZ plant that legit was four feet tall. And when they first got it, it was only like a foot tall maybe. It was like a little bit bigger, but it grew so aggressively and it had a lot of direct light. So that's one reason why it grew so fast. It can thrive in lower light as well. It just won't grow as quickly. That's the only thing. A ZZ plant is absolutely amazing. They, you can find them anywhere. Um, they are like weirdly kind of expensive compared to other plants. I don't know why, because they are so common. But I just noticed that, that, you know, they definitely are priced a little higher. I don't know. Maybe that's just in my area, of course. I don't know. Another plant that is so bulletproof and can definitely survive in your office is something like a pothos. Um, so this is kind of a Monstero Adansoni I mixed with pothos, but a golden pothos looks like this. It's like a yellowish... Um, green plant in a pothos you can find absolutely anywhere they it adds that like greenery that you want that leafy jungly vining plant so it's the perfect friend to have near your desk because they literally they don't require much humidity they really don't require much light at all and they can continue to grow a significant amount of feet away from the window no matter what direction it's facing. Even zero, it might get away with just light from a light bulb, you know? That might be sufficient for it and the ZZ plant. I've never tried it myself and you probably wouldn't have to water them maybe hardly ever if they had almost no exposure like that, just because they're not using that much energy. Don't have to water them nearly as much if they're further and further back from the window. So just keep checking their soil once a week or so and just only water when it's completely dry. Top to bottom. Another great plant other than the ZZ plant and the pothos was the Dracaena compacta. So this one is like a, there's a turtle in its pot. Yeah, it's random. <laughs> but this one is so good in a low light situation. It literally can survive in like no light at all. I wouldn't recommend that because it won't grow at all and it won't thrive, but it can survive there, no problem. Usually they have these really, really long stems. Mine is just like really compact and just one. But if you get a few of these in one pot, it can look really, really cool. So a Dracaena compacta is great. It doesn't require much humidity. As with the ZZ plant and pothos, you really don't need to provide much humidity for them. And that works in any part of your home that has a super low light situation that you're working in. If you wanted to provide more humidity, especially if you're in an office, I really recommend um, getting like a diffuser or something. I just got these on Amazon for like really cheap, but I love adding like a little essential oils or just like a scent of some kind. 
and my coworkers always love like the smell of like lavender or whatever I chose, you know, or citrus, you know, people love that. So if you add like a nice scent to it, it's not only giving you that gorgeous scent, but it's also providing humidity for the plants on your desk. And then if you're not about that, if you're not about the scent life or the diffuser electricity life, you can just get a spray bottle. That will be more than enough humidity for them. Just spritz them like once every few days or so, or every day if you want. Why not? Another plant that I recommend is um, the spider plant. I actually brought the spider plant into my office before um, we all started working from home. It was doing really, really, really well, but I was about 10 to 15 feet back from the window, so it had some pretty good indirect light. I wouldn't necessarily recommend the spider plant for a super low light situation like I would the ZZ Pothos and Dracaenia, but it did well in like medium light. Like if you have a medium light situation, you can definitely go for the spider plant, but it's not a foolproof plant necessarily. You do have to keep it kind of consistently watered. You can't, you have to pay a little more attention to it. That's all I'm saying compared to these guys. But if you are an intermediate, you know, plant mother or father, and you have some medium to bright indirect, then go for the spider plant, do it. Not only are these guys all great for your desk, but they're also very good air purifiers and cleaners, especially the ZZ plant. It's like really, really, really talented at that. So that's another added benefit, especially because office spaces have a lot of like recycled air and stuff. But as far as like look and stuff, like how you want your plant to look, I wouldn't recommend keeping it in terracotta because terracotta dries out really quickly. It's very porous and it releases a lot of excess moisture. But since you're gonna be leaving your plant over the weekend, and you know you're only going to be watering it probably once a week or so or less depending on where it is in, in the light and stuff i would recommend ceramic a uh, ceramic pot and definitely like a white pot like this with like cute little just something cute but definitely something white it just goes with everything or you can do like a sleek black like just keep it pretty neutral because you want the plant to be the showstopper. You want your plant to be that pop of color. Terracotta is good, you know, for your house and stuff and adding that rustic feel. And if that's your vibe at your desk, cool. It just dries out a lot quicker. And when you're at work, you don't wanna worry too much about having to water it all the time and checking it constantly because you know you're like working and stuff, so. Another thing that I recommend if you have an office plant, so you're like, you don't go in on the weekend, and if possible, if you can move your plant closer to a window during the weekend, just a little closer, not in direct sun or anything, just a little closer so it gets a little bit more light and exposure, and then you can bring it back to your desk on Monday morning, that would be like ideal. That way your plant can have some time to really take in more sun. When you come in Monday morning, you just put it back on your desk and you can have it there for the whole week. These plants are so tough that moving them back and forth, it won't affect them whatsoever, I promise you. If all this work is like freaking you out and you're like, I don't think I want a plant, then guys, I know it's dirty, it's a dirty word, but you can always just get a fake plant. You can get a fake one and then you can put it in a cute little like pot, little candle like this. Oh my God, it fell out. Yeah. You're not supposed to move it around. It's supposed to be stationary. But this is like an old candle from Anthropology, I think. Definitely like really overpriced, but so worth it in my opinion. You just get like some fake little, I don't know, shrubbery, you know, just and stick it in there and, and you can get something a little darker green so it looks more planty. You know, this is always an option. Nobody's gonna hate you for it. Obviously a real plant brings a little more nourishment and happiness because you have to take care of it and, it and that just gives you this whole added layer of happiness. So the plants that I don't recommend guys that I see people bring into the office all the time and it really just, mm, I'm just like, you're killing that plant. That plant's gonna die. So the plant that I always see people bring in are plants like succulents and cactus. You know, those have the unkillable reputation and I get it, but they cannot thrive in an office setting. There's just absolutely no way unless you are sitting in direct sun and they can sit directly on a windowsill where they get direct sunlight hitting them. Don't do it. Don't make, don't let them sit on your desk. They're going to die. They will die. You're going to overwater them. I guarantee it. And they're going to rot and they're just going to die. I literally watched so many succulents perish in my time in the office because people would bring them in because they're like, oh, they're like so easy. Right. And I'd be like, yeah, yeah, go ahead. Give it a try. 
you know, I'm not gonna tell them what to do. It's like too late. They already brought it in. They, they brought it in like a cute little pot. And I'm like, okay, they're excited. I'm not gonna like crush their dreams and tell them that that's probably gonna die, you know? And then they do die. And then they, they, they get all bummed out about plants. They're like, ew, that's so like, it just dies. What's the point? And I'm like, well, you gotta choose the right plant. So definitely don't bring cactus and succulent into the office. They will not do well. The next plant that I really don't recommend are, are things like prayer plant and stuff like that. While you would think it could thrive, that plant requires a lot of humidity. It's a little finicky. So I just wouldn't recommend that for an office plant. Because again, you want the easiest plant, a no fuss type of attitude. And I the prayer plant is just a little risky. If you wanna go for it, you can try it because they don't require much light, but I really don't think it'll thrive. And it needs water a lot more than other plants. It likes to be regularly watered. So if you're leaving it alone for days at a time, um, that might not work out. All right, guys, so that is my total like run through on plants that I recommend for your office or, you know, any kind of darker space in your house would work as well. And all the pots that I recommend and plants I don't recommend. I hope this video was helpful, guys. Please subscribe if you haven't. Please like, please comment and let me know what you want to see and turn on that notification bell so you know every time I post something. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye. Wesley. Hey baby, yeah. you good boy?